cubby hole is is that even a word no smart ass it's two cubby who oh must you what find filth in the most innocent words there's nothing filthy about a hole stop it or i'm going home right now a cubby hole is a small space to put your junk in and you were googling how to clean one out keep up will you that's what i was telling kath and that's not the point the point is i think i'm gonna have to stop doing this job i'm starting to hate her oh why this kath woman is hilarious she accused me of being a lesbian for god's sake oh Accused? I don't mean accused. You accused someone of murder or piddling on the toilet. I know. Person's sexuality is not a crime, you know. I know. I didn't say it was. It's what you're inferring, though. Boomer. No, I didn't. Wanker. Mother? Just listen, will you? When I have to deal with her, I'm not being me. I'm pretending all the time, smiling when I just want to... I don't know. You know, I'm not a violent woman, Joe, but... Not physically, no. What's that supposed to mean? This. Christine says a tongue. <laughs> Just say what you've got to say to her. You never any trouble using that thing on us. If I do, she'll cut off my Chianti fund. And work for a different funeral director. Will miss being bombarded by your tales of being cathed. Why does she think you're a lesbian? Because I haven't been on a date in the three years she's known me. <laughs> well. Oh, don't you start! What am I gonna do, Joe? Chris? Hello. How lovely to see you. I was just thinking about you yesterday and now here you are. It's like a miracle. Gosh, what an amazing coincidence. How are you doing? Well, you know, as good as can be expected. Yeah, well, it's still early days. It's been nearly two years. Oh, goodness. Well, time flies when you... Doesn't it? Anyway, uh, I won't keep you. I just wanted to come over and say thank you again. You have no idea how much difference you've made. You're an angel. Thank you. It was my pleasure. You take care of yourself. Who was that? Oh, she was practically kissing your feet. You must know her. I see hundreds of people every month. I can't remember everyone. Joe. What? Joe, Joe. Oh, not three. Joey. Not a budgie either. How about I move in with you and then I don't have to work and then I can finish my novel and then oh, I... Hello, Chris. Jack! Hello. How are you? How's your mother? Hi. Not so bad. Uh, Jack, uh, this is my son, Joe. Pleased to meet you. You're a very lucky lad, having a mother like Chris. Am I? Aye. She did a marvellous job at my dad's funeral. I wrote a poem, you know, for my dad. And not only did your mum read it out to us, but she did it in a comedy voice to cheer everybody up. Didn't you, Chris? Everybody said it was the best funeral they'd ever been to. You look after her, young man. She's a very special lady. Right, best be going. Mother can't manage upstairs. God send for when the time comes. Bye then. Bye. Bye. What was it? Incontinence pants. <laughs>
<laughs> Pissing myself. <laughs> just, just keep doing what you're doing, man. You're making a difference to people's lives in a good way. It's not the job that's the problem, it's just the bloody cat. And you're more than smart enough to handle it. Maybe you just need to think outside the box. <laughs> Come on, let's go grab some lunch and you can tell me exactly what cat caught you looking at on your phone. It was an article <coughs> on how to find a woman's G-spot. See? No. Not another woman's G-spot. Oh. Oh, God, no. No. no, no. Oh, oh, get off, you animal! <laughs> <laughs>